Yeah, that's what that's what a cluster bomb looks like when it falls on your head and it blows up in your face. This is Laos here, Vietnam there, Thailand here. And the red areas are the, the areas that America carpet bombed with those things. And there's a load of them unexploded. And there's pictures of all the people that have lost limbs from stepping on one. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty shocking, but you should come and see it really. Because, uh, yeah, unfortunately, after the Vietnam, Laos was basically next to Vietnam, and um, the Vietnamese were using supply routes through Laos. So, to cut those supply routes off, the Americans carpet bombed them in what was later called the Secret War in Laos, because they weren't supposed to be at war in Laos. Um, but, yeah did a pretty good job of blowing up pretty much the whole country so now Angelina Jolie and her friends have to come and they have to uh, try to defuse the ordin ordinance as you can see groups marking out um, areas and then they go across painstakingly to find the unexploded unexploded bombs and then they have to detonate them but um, such a massive area was carpet bombed that when did the Vietnam War finish? 1960 something and that's 2016 and they still haven't cleared all of those bombs it's pretty shocking this is a typical Laotian house in the countryside yeah. and after you've blown off someone's leg or arm if they didn't die um, this is what they get as a replacement, or this is what they got. These are some of the old limbs. We're at the Cope Center in Vientiane in Laos, and basically what they've been doing here for years is basically um, creating artificial limbs for adults and children who've lost their limbs to mainly unexploded ordnance. And then they show them how to use the limbs here. Um, so that's what it is. Um, this is the, how they make the limbs. <coughs> um, yeah, I met a few of the children last time. They were sitting just over there, actually. And I met them. And uh, <laughs> yeah, well. artificial limb for a baby or a baby <sighs> so that's a map of the world and all the red areas uh, areas that have been affected by cluster bombs over the years we've got Laos, Vietnam and Cambodia in Southeast Asia a lot of African countries, um, where's that? Middle East um, and the Balkans, yeah. Man, we do do stupid things, don't we, as human beings? We do do really, really stupid things. And this is, uh, here you go, Cope, this is where I am. Cope, you can donate online if you want to. Cope, helping people move on. www.copelau.org And there's a girl um, being fitted out with a new leg. Um, and then, yeah, they're going to use a contraption like this to, to show her how to walk on it. Hmm. So 
outside they were cooking this is a, a reconstruction of where a mother was cooking with a 15 year old daughter and there was an unexploded bomb below the cooker she didn't know about and uh, basically yeah, ignited and exploded and her and her daughter survived um, but were seriously injured and the shrapnel still remains in their bodies they both survive but shrapnel still remains in their bodies great God, man. Deja yo a... No, I don't want you. You are, you are a secret. <laughs> it's so sad. It's really sad. Beautiful young girl with one leg. 